Hi everyone, my name is Craig and today we are taking a look at the Commuter 2 speaker from Cove Audio. Last year Cove sent me a pair of their over-ear headphones uh, for review and they love the support that my channel and my uh, network, my friends brought in. So they decided to send me this speaker for review because of the great reception last year. So full disclosure, I'm not being paid to say anything about the Commuter 2, but they did send me the unit to keep and I will get a small commission anytime someone uses my discount code, which is Craig29 underscore 67. Okay, let's dive into the review. First things first, let's talk about the design of the speaker. There are a few things I like, but also a few things that I would change if I had my way. Immediately when I heard the word commuter, I assumed that this would be a smaller style speaker that's easy to throw in a backpack, a small travel bag, or even carry from place to place by hand. When the speaker is fully assembled, it's pretty small, but it's not actually the smallest speaker that I own. When I think of small speakers, uh, the JBL Flip series comes to mind. This is the JBL Flip 4, and I've owned this speaker for several years, and it is the, one of the most lightweight and best sounding speakers for the money. So in my mind, I immediately began to compare the two size-wise. And while the commuter comes in at about 20% to 30% bigger than the Flip 4, I would say that there actually hasn't been a circumstance in which the increase in size has created an inconvenience in portability. This is still a very portable speaker for the size. I think the biggest selling point for this speaker is actually the fact that it is two speakers in one unit. The speaker comes as one unit bundled together, attached to one another, but these speakers actually split apart for a true stereo listening experience. You can place the speakers at different parts of the room you're in so that you and your guests can hear from all angles. You could even use these as portable monitors for editing video or music listening. I will talk more about the design in just a second, but first there are a couple things I wish could be improved on the design of the commuter. The first being charging. You have to individually charge both speakers with a standard micro USB cable, which I am slowly trying to phase out of my production process. I wish that you could charge this speaker via USB-C and connect the speakers together and only have to charge them um, with one slot. So to just plug one USB cable in for charging. Um, they did include this neat micro USB split cable, so you only have to use one cable. So props to them for including that, but I really do wish that you didn't have to plug in both speakers. Also, trying to screw these back together, I mean, I'm trying to do it right now. It literally, there's like, it's impossible. I've had these speakers for about a month and it still drives me crazy trying to figure out how to get these together. I received a lot of questions on my last video about how reliable the connectivity of Bluetooth 4.2 is over the new and improved Bluetooth 5.0 that we see in a lot of high-end speakers. And I'm pleased to say I have had zero problems with connectivity or range with this speaker. Any real world situation that I was in when I used the speaker has got the job done. Whether it was cleaning my house and going from room to room with my phone in my pocket, hanging with a group of friends outdoors, um, driving in the car, throwing it in a backpack for a hike or something, it's performed wonderfully in every scenario. I tested how far you could be from the speaker with a phone while maintaining line of sight, and I was able to go about 40 yards before experiencing any signal interruptions. And that's over 100 feet from the speaker. And I'm not sure practically why you would have any reason why you needed to be 100 feet away from your speaker and still need to be able to hear it. Um, since at that point, the speaker would probably be far enough away that it really wouldn't be loud enough to use. So if you desire a speaker to have a decibel output that can reach 40 plus yards, then I would recommend a much larger speaker than this one. Sound quality. Okay, I'll make this section really short. Overall, this speaker just sounds great. It has a similar sound profile to the NCH headphones that I reviewed last year, and they allow for more of the low end frequencies to come through, which gives you this warmer sounding tone and a lot of bass. So if you like bass to come through in your songs, um, this speaker will get the job done for that. Overall, I would give two thumbs up for sound quality. Okay, volume output. This category is strange because we need to talk about the structural design of the speaker just a little bit more. You would think that when you put the speaker together and face it towards you, both speakers would be pointed forward at the listener. But that's actually not the case with the commuter. When you assemble the speaker into one unit, the orientation of the speakers are placed uh, 
in a position that makes no sense to me. You have one speaker that is facing up and then the other speaker that's facing down towards the table. And then if you place the speaker upright, one speaker is facing to the left and then the other one is facing to the right and neither are facing towards you as the listener. This could be great for having the speaker in the center of a room for 360 degree coverage, which they actually talk about on their website, but I don't love this design for listening to as one person. But when you split the speaker into two, this is where the commuter really shines. Most music listeners don't know that music producers actually have different sounds that come out of the left and the right channel. You may have noticed this when listening in the car or a really good set of headphones, but these speakers create a true stereo experience for the listener. If you are closer to the left speaker, you will get a different soundscape than the person on the right side of the room would actually get. I would highly recommend using this as a split speaker system with the speakers placed at an equal distance from you and about three to four feet apart from each other. This achieved best results in my experience. Also, I made a rookie mistake where I got my speaker and I couldn't figure out why its max output was incredibly underwhelming. And then my lovely fiance helped me out when I realized I needed to also turn up the volume on each of the speakers, not just our connected device. Once I turned up the speakers manually, I had enough volume for any situation I needed it in. So make sure you do that if you purchase this speaker. If you are interested in buying this speaker today, you can actually head to the Cove website and put in the code Craig29 underscore 67 at checkout and you'll get 67% off of your purchase price, bringing a $230 speaker down to $75.90, which is a complete steal. If you have any more questions about this speaker, I am happy to chat with you in the comment section and help in any way I can. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that before you leave and leave a like on this video. It helps a ton. Much love.